What is going on guys? It's Vivi here back with another First Senate video. And for this video, I'm going to be explaining all the differences between skill power and skill power multiplier. I'm also going to be showing you guys some actual translation errors where there are certain words that actually mean the same thing and it's very confusing. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to look at your character sheet as well as your mods and know exactly what everything means and how to calculate your damage whenever you want to. Now I have a spreadsheet here that I made and wrote the calculations out for just so I can kind of do this on the fly and explain how all the calculations are working as I'm going. Now I am going to break this video into some chapters. So first we're going to go over skill power and then we're going to go over skill power multiplier. I'll be using a working example from start to finish, but you can skip around if you understand maybe one but not the other. But I recommend you sticking with me from the start to finish and going through the entire example because it will help you understand how everything is working in the background of this game when it comes to your skills. Now for the example, example here we're going to be using Ajax and I'm going to be using his ability expulsion now this math is going to apply to every ability in the game but this one is an easy one to actually show what's going on with the math behind the scenes anyways guys let's get right into it and before we do anything with skill power or skill power multiplier we are first going to figure out how the damage is actually calculated at a base level so let's do that now what you can see here is I have a reactor that has no sort of matching to my ability at all. The ability is a non-attribute tech ability and I am not using the thunder cage. So the only important thing we are looking at right now is going to be that value under skill power. Now because of other names and things that we're going to be using that are similar, I'm going to refer to this number as sheet power and this is your baseline for where everything else is going to come from. So for now we can ignore the power boost ratio on the reactor. I'm going to get into that next. But all we need to look at right now is the 1160 skill power, aka sheet power. And you can also find this on your character page here. Again, this is your baseline for where everything is being calculated. So for calculating the base damage of an ability before we apply any sort of skill power, skill power multiplier, anything like that, power boost ratio, etc. We're going to take this number here, which is our sheet power 1160.96. The other number that we're going to want here is going to be on our ability itself. Now it says skill power times and then it has this percentage that's skill power and why I'm not calling it skill power is because it is sheet power it has nothing to do with your skill power percentage that is your sheet power to get the baseline damage for this ability we are going to take our sheet power and multiply it by that percentage so let's actually plug these numbers into the spreadsheet that I made and then I'll tell you exactly what's going on with the calculation so our sheet power we determined was 1160.96 and the ability boost percent is what I'm going to be calling the percentage on the ability itself. So stay with me there. It doesn't really have a name. So we're just going to call it ability boost percent. That's going to be 1290.4. Now, one thing you'll notice is this ability boost skill modifier. That is basically just me converting the percentage into a decimal value so that we can multiply it by our sheet power and get an actual number. You're just dividing by 100. You don't want to multiply it by the percentage as the flat value. You want to get it as an actual multiplier and then use it. All we're doing here is multiplying this number here by this number here. And we came out with the number 142,730. So let's see if that is accurate. So now that we have our baseline, we're going to start adding in some variables and I'll explain it as we go. But this is where we get into skill power. Before I get into skill power, one very important thing that you have to understand about reactors is that the skill power boost ratio is very poorly worded. All that basically means is skill power. So if you see 0.2 times, all that means is a 1.2 times multiplier, which is a 20% skill power boost to that element. On this reactor, obviously I have no matching, so I'm not getting that 20%. We look at this reactor, for instance, we see I have the non-attribute skill power boost ratio again. That is just 20% non-attribute skill power. So let's equip this reactor here. And we're going to go back to my character sheet. You can see the sheet power has not changed. However, we have this non-attribute skill power boost ratio. Again, non-attribute skill power. That's all that is, 20%. Now, how do we apply this to the actual calculation itself? Well, it's actually pretty easy. In this case, we only have that single type of skill power to actually factor into our equation here. So we're gonna do that here. Let me bring up the spreadsheet. Now I have it labeled here as boost ratio, but it's essentially translating it to a percentage. So you can see I put in 0.2 here. 
this turns into 1.2 because 20% extra. Now we see our total sheet power, which is not going to show on the sheet, but this is a hidden value. Our total sheet power is now at 13,273. And you can see our skill damage jumped up to 171,276. So let's see if that's accurate. Now let's introduce another variable here. We are still sticking with skill power, but now we're going to actually match two different types of skill power. So what happens now? Now the ability is non-attribute and tech. So this is matching it in both non-attribute and tech. So let's put this one on. And again, on the sheet here, you can see we still have the same sheet power. And on top of that, we now have the two power boost ratios for non-attribute and tech. Again, these this is just skill power. So the way this actually works is that you're multiplying each different type of skill power on top of the others. If you have, say, two different types of skill power, in this case, we have non-attribute and tech, we have 20% of each. We are taking our non-attribute multiplier, which is going to be 1.2 as we determine determined with the last reactor and we are going to multiply that by the tech skill power which is also 1.2 now the reason we're using both is because the ability is both non-attribute and tech so I'm going to plug this into the calculator here in this case secondary attribute is going to be tech for us and I'm going to put in the 0.2 here and you can see the total skill power boost ratio multiplier is 1.44 and you can see that is different than just adding 1.2 to 1.2 so in the case of skill power for each different type of skill power you have which is up to three and i will show you how you actually have three you have to multiply them on top of each other then this number is what is being applied to get our total damage here we're taking our sheet power from here we are multiplying it by total skill power boost ratio which is a multiple of these two the non-attribute and the tech skill power then we are taking that number and multiplying it by our ability boost skill modifier again 12.904 and the damage we get here is 205,532 let's see if that's accurate let's throw a couple other variables into here. Now you're probably wondering why haven't I gotten the mods yet? So we're gonna do that. Keep in mind, we're still talking about skill power. So I'm gonna throw in non-attribute specialist that is 81.2% skill power. And this is very easy. Now that you have looked at how the reactor affects our damage here, this will make a lot more sense. So if I come here, you can now see our non-attribute skill power boost ratio is 1.012. Again, this value is just non-attribute skill power. And you can see that here. So this value is our reactor, which has 20%. And then our mod, which has 81.2%. And we get this value here, which is 1.012. And again, we can go back now to the calculator here. And we're going to look at our primary attribute skill power boost ratio, which we originally had 0.2 but that is now 1.012. So let's plug that in and you can see the actual multiplier becomes 2.4 and our damage goes up quite significantly to 344,608. So let's see if that's actually accurate. This all makes sense so far, I hope, but there is one other factor we need to talk about with skill power and that is something like maximize skill now how does this work it doesn't have an element on it so is it non-attribute is it tech so let's come back up to our sheet now that we've equipped that and what you're going to see here is we now have three different boost ratios so this is how you actually get three of these multipliers this is our mod maximize skill and then these are the two multipliers from our actual reactor here and you're just applying the same logic as we did with these two so you're going to multiply this one by this one by this one i'm going to plug that into the calculator here we're going to do 0 0.876 and then we're going to change this back to 0 0.2 and you can see we get a multiplier of 2.7 again you can see the actual multipliers here when we add the one this value right here is these three multiplied together so we took our three types of skill power and multiplied them on top of each other then we took that multiplier and multiplied it by our sheet power and then we took that and we multiplied it by our ability boost skill modifier and the total value we got here is 385,578 so let's check if that's accurate the same logic applies to components as well as anywhere else you can get skill power. So I'll show you that real quick. We're going to go ahead and throw on a Slayer set here. 
and that is going to give us 26.1% extra skill power. If everything is right here, it's going to affect our base skill power boost ratio. So let's take a look. And again, you can see that's exactly what it does. You can plug that into the calculator. You would come here, change this to 1.13 seven and now you have that new number of 439,222 we could check that that is it for skill power i hope that gave you a good understanding of how the mods as well as the reactor as well as the components are all working together to go into your skill damage so for skill power multiplier it actually becomes a lot easier to understand these numbers here and that is because we are not getting that from our actual reactor itself. Now, if you do get it from, say, a component or something, you will have to factor that in. But we don't have to talk about the reactors at all. And we're going to go straight to the mods and see how this affects our damage. So for this, I'm going to be using tech because our ability, again, is tech. So we're going to use focus on tech because I have it enhanced already. And you can see tech skill power modifier plus 68.2%. So what does that mean? If we look at the ability here, we have 1290.4% ability boost percentage all we're gonna do with this number very simple guys if it is skill power multiplier you are adding it to this number and you're adding it and adding it so if you have more mods or more gear with it you are just adding it to this number 1290.4 plus 68.2 i'm going to show you real quick what this looks like on your character sheet before we do the actual calculation it comes in as tech skill modifier so tech skill modifier is tech skill power multiplier again another bad translation that makes it confusing but all this means is 68.2 percent tech skill power multiplier and again we are just adding this on to our percentage here so let's come over here and plug the numbers into the spreadsheet now we have the same numbers that we had from putting in the skill power stuff but now we are going to add on the skill power multiplier so on the spreadsheet here we are talking about tech so it's going to go under the secondary attribute and these are just labels but and we're going to put 0.682 and again that means 68.2 percent and now we get our new damage calculation. So let's go through this from start to finish and understand where this number is coming from. We are taking our sheet power. We are then multiplying it by this value, this value, and this value, all of which are our additional skill power for our different attribute types. Now these three numbers multiplied is this number, so you can essentially take this and multiply it by that, or you can take this and multiply it by each of these. You're gonna come out with the same number. Now after that, we're multiplying it by the ability boost skill modifier, which is the percentage on the ability divided by 100 but because we now have 68.2 percent skill power multiplier we are going to add that percentage as we just talked about to this one which is going to give us this number here which translates to 1358.6 percent now this is the decimal value so that we can actually use it for the multiplication here and we are taking all those numbers and just multiplying them together and we get this here and let's see if that is an accurate number here we have 462,435 and that is exactly what we got. Now there is one last question that we need to address here. And that is what if we don't have an actual attribute type on our skill, our multiplier. So we're going to use technician here and I'm going to go to our character sheet and you can see we now have just a regular skill power modifier and it's the 50.8% turned into a modifier. Now for skill power multipliers, they just add on top of each other, as I said. So if you had a couple of different types of attributes as long as they match the attributes of the ability you are just adding them together now in the case of technician it actually does not stack on top of itself so it's not counting for two attributes it's just counting for all abilities so this is still just 50.8 percent and we can go ahead and plug that in real quick so i'm going to make the secondary attribute zero and the base is now 0.508 and we should get here 456,513. From start to finish, that is how skill power and skill multiplier work. I hope this kind of made sense to you guys. And if none of these numbers made sense to you guys, stick with me for this last part because this is the most important part here and the most important takeaway for this very quick example I'm going to do, we're going to use 10,000 sheet power and we're going to compare an ability that has 10% on it to 1,000% on it and see how skill power and skill power multiplier affect each one. So we're going to start with the 10 percenter here. And for hypothetical sake, we're going to give it 1,000 skill power. So 1,000 divided by 100, we're going to put 10 here 
and what you can see is that our ability went up by a whopping 1000 damage but now let's look at a hypothetical skill multiplier of 1000 so we're going to put that here again 10 times and you can see it went up by 100,000 damage if you have an ability with low percentage on it skill power multiplier is going to give you a lot more value now let's look at that 1000 percenter so our skill damage is at 100,000 to start and let's go ahead and give it the 1000 percent skill power and you can see it went up to 1.1 million so that helped it out a lot but now let's see how skill power multiplier helps it out so again we're at 100,000 and we're gonna do a thousand percent skill power multiplier and it went up to 200,000 so we got way less value because the number was so much bigger so again the main point if anything skill power multiplier for low percentage abilities skill power for high percentage abilities that is going to do it for this video guys i hope it was helpful to some of you i apologize if it was confusing to some of you but i hope that at least you understand the last point of the difference between skill power and skill power multiplier if anything that is the biggest takeaway but i've been rambling long enough so quick shout out to all my patrons on patreon you guys are amazing i'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to check that out thank you to all the people who have registered me as your creator for nexon I really appreciate that. I'll also leave a link to that. It supports me. If you guys make any purchases, I get small amounts of that. Anyways, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.